If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Alex. Two years ago, I didn't sail or really know anyone who did. But since then, I've taken the somewhat unconventional route into learning to sail, learning through yacht racing. Six months after I raised my first halyard, I embarked on my first offshore race. And less than a year later, I'm part of a crew competing in the legendary Rolex Fastnet race. That means that in less than two weeks, I'll be on the start line of the biggest yacht race in the world. It's not going to be easy, but it will be an adventure. So if you're interested in how a rookie handles one of the toughest yacht races in the world, make sure to subscribe. And let's see what the next few weeks have in store for us. So, very windy. Uh, there's a lot of prep to do this week and today killing time has come out the water. And I think the plan is to give her a lick of anti-foul this evening. Then later this week, we're gonna be getting all the running rigging off the boat, checking it with a fine tooth comb and seeing what needs to be repaired before the fastnet. Then again, later this week, we're gonna be taking all the sails off, going over them with a fine tooth comb and seeing any last minute repairs we need to do for the fastnet. So lots of boat prep to do this week. Um, but yeah, let's go get some anti farming done. The main reason that Killing Time was out of the water was because she needed a keel inspection, which nowadays is a requirement for the fastnet. Essentially, this is to ensure that the keel isn't badly damaged, and it also gives us peace of mind too, because generally we want the keel to stay attached. But whilst Killing Time was out of the water, we also took the opportunity to touch up on anti-foul. There are a few spots we had missed last time around, like where the bristles from the paintbrush came off and left gaps. So we need to rub these down and then top them up with anti -foul. So the first step is to rub those spots down with wet and dry to get them smooth. Alvi found a particularly rough spot where the sail drive mount is, which Ali said to leave because he was planning on going over it later with an electric sander. There's bits that feel quite rough around yeah. here. There were quite a few other rough patches, but given the time available, there wasn't much we could do. It'd be really difficult to get anything like a really smooth finish. In the meantime, Ali was cracking on with anti-fouling our rudders yeah. in bright yellow. And despite what LV might let you believe, it's not to attract the dolphins. It's actually because it's a safety requirement of a fast net to have a certain area covered in fluorescent anti -foul. Step two was to wash down the bits that we had sanded with wet and dry. And last but not least, it was time to anti foul. With the boat jobs done for the day, it was time to pack up and head on the long drive home. 